Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover conditional formatting in Excel using Python. We will cover two methods. First, we will apply conditional formatting to our data frame and output this to Excel. This is a quick and easy way. However, it does have some drawbacks. We cannot retain all the formatting when outputting our data frame to Excel. The output is not as appealing, especially if you're sending this to a client or to someone else. In the second method, we will utilize the XLS Writer module. We have used this previously in this video to create beautiful, well-formatted Excel reports. We will utilize the script from this video. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to check out the basics of XLS Writer. Also, I'll leave the link to the code on GitHub. With this out of the way, let's open up our Jupyter Notebook and start coding. We need to import the required libraries which in this case is pandas. And I'll define a URL to read an Excel file directly from the GitHub repo. We will use pandas to read this into a data frame. I will select few columns and aggregate the numeric columns into a new data frame. Let's also filter out the data set for one month. So we are dealing with a small set of data. Okay, this looks much better. Now we will define a function to highlight the rows based on condition. We will name the function highlight underscore row, and this takes a row. In this function, we will use lock on sales column to get the value. Then we check if the value is less than 1000, then define red color. And we define green for values greater than 100,000. And for all other values, we define gray color. We return the background color for each row. We apply a buff function to our data frame using style.apply. Inside apply, we call the function and set the axis to 1. This will apply the color to the rows matching the condition in this data frame. Let's print out our data frame to see the outcome. Okay, we have values above 100k in green and less than 1000 in red. We can apply additional formatting such as 1000 separator, currency symbol, and percent However, those will not be persisted in Excel. Let's save this data frame to Excel using two Excel function from pandas and set the index to false. This will save the file in the specified location. And if you do not provide a location, it will be in the current directory where your Jupyter notebook is located. Let's go ahead and preview the file to see the final output. Okay, our columns are not fitted well. So let's go ahead and auto fit the column to fit the text. We see our conditional formatting saved to Excel and this looks fine. It gets the job done and we can certainly improve the output if you're sending it to, to a user or to a colleague. We can auto fit the column to fit the text, format the headers, and for the cell, we can format the date and numeric fields to make this report stand out. And if you have followed the previous video, then we can produce an output like this. We will go ahead and uh, borrow the base code from this session. It is available on GitHub. Link is in the description below. And we'll update the code to cover conditional formatting. With XLS Writer, we create a new Excel file and use the engine as XLS Writer. And we create a worksheet and a new workbook. First change we make to the base code is that we set the border for the headers. So we specify the border width to one and supply a color. The conditional formatting overlays over the data and it overrides the default formatting. It removes the default borders in Excel file. So we define a border and we apply this formatting to the cell where we apply the conditional formatting. Next, we set the title and subheading and apply the formatting to the headers. We have lifted this code from the previous session as is. Let's define the currency for the columns containing currency values. We also have a percent column. So for that, we define a percent format. Next, we set the width for all the columns to 20. Let's format our numbers to currency and percent. Okay, we are ready to define our conditional formatting logic. First, we define a style with background color and font color. To apply this style, we use conditional underscore format from the worksheet. 
we supply the column range. You can also automate the range part. I have done this in the previous video where I have added the total cell at the end of the report. We set the type for this to formula and supply the condition in the criteria. Here we will define equal and dollar sign starting cell, which in our case is four, and compare if the values in column H are less than 1000. If this is the case, then we apply the formatting to the worksheet. Since this will remove the border on the rows where the conditional formatting is applied, using the same condition as above, we apply the border formatting to our worksheet. Similarly, we can apply multiple condition. In this case, we apply the formatting if the values are greater than 100,000 and apply the border. Okay, this takes care of the conditional formatting aspect. We are ready to save the formatted worksheet. We will call the save function. Let's go to the directory where the file is located and open our final output. Our formatting is persisted. We have fitted columns. Our headers looks good with borders around them. We have conditional formatting for numbers greater than 100,000 as well as numbers below 1,000. So this is how we can apply conditional formatting and persistent to Excel output using XLS Writer. I hope you find it useful. This is all for now. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.